All right, it's been asked by a bunch of people to uh, do a walk around with my Jeep. I posted some shorts and a little uh, shakedown video earlier, back when it was on the 40s. Um, now I've kind of got it as it sits, how I want it. I do want to go full hydro on the front in the future and push it out some more. But for right now, it's doing okay. It's a, a 2006 Rubicon. It still has the factory frame. Uh, it doesn't have a front half or back half kit. But the, uh, the wheelbase, it's at 106 on 43s still has the steering box it is the psc big bore kit so it has their steering box and their ram assist uh, the steering box was pushed out uh, by the previous owner not sure what kit they used or if they used a kit or just did it full custom but it's got uh curry anti rock sway bars front and rear uh, 14 inch fox coilovers both front and rear with the with the uh, reservoir all the armor the hot the front fenders are moto built uh, the side panel piece right here is moto built uh, moto built sliders moto built rear armor the rear is done the rear shock mount is just a simple hoop it does not have a crossover bar in the bed and everything seems to be fine with that uh, the axles are solid axle industries it's their 60s um they're high pinion center housing and then you just tube them with whatever length tube you want so these are actually molded after like a 99 to 04 60 so the wheel mountain surface is 68 and a half i'm running k20 calipers so gm three quarter ton calipers the cage was done by a good friend of mine and a lot of the suspension work was redone uh, a friend of mine named adam cox he's local here in north alabama just give you a little picture of the back. Still got the stock tailgate. Has a 19 gallon fuel cell from RCI. With the 19 gallon, I still have plenty of room to run a cooler. I run some spare tools. Um, I could run a five gallon uh, gas container in the back if I need to. Still has the carpet. Uh, as far as for seats, I'm running the PRP Podium Elites but I have them in the extra wide version, so they're two inches wider. They fit in here just perfect. Very snug, very comfortable. I'm a larger guy, 6'1", 230 pounds, so the extra width was nice. They are on some PRP brackets, but we custom made those to fit to the slider, so I still have my fold up and down function, but I don't have my sliding function. Uh, as far as for the dash, factory dash, um, Sidewinder shifter, Atlas 4-speed transfer case. Um, it's got a 6-liter in it, LS. It's the LQ9. I'm not running any inner fender flares, as you can see. Uh, it's got a BTR truck Norris cam in it. It does pretty good. Plenty of torque. Um, 4L80 transmission with a factory converter. Um, with the factory converter, I have to fight it a little bit if I put the Atlas in any lower ratio than like a 3.8, which is what it, the first ratio is. I'll give you a start up, let you know how it sounds. But overall, I'm really happy with it. It's a good rig that I can daily drive if I want to, or drive it to a trail or I trailer it. Um, there's the Atlas four speed shifter connections. I'll give it a little start up.
uh, just real quick, it is three link in the front. Um, wide open designs, lower links, those are two and a quarter with inch and a quarter hums. Um, it has Fox bump stops all the way around. Uh, Air, ARB lockers, air lockers front and rear. I am just running a 488 gear ratio in this because with that Atlas four speed and the V8, the full 80, I can really pick and choose what gear ratio I want to run. Um, but overall, the 48s have been have been fine. Uh, the 43s, they're non-sticky. They are DOT ply. For me, with it, me driving on the road every now and then, I don't want to burn down a set of stickies, so that's why I went with the DOT ply. And overall, I've been pretty happy with them. When it's wet, um, I have to get a little bit more wheel speed to get at some things, but overall, I'm really happy with them. Um, I'll show you just a little bit of the three link. On the front, there's your third link. It mounts to the frame. On the rear, the double triangulated four link. So the, the lowers mount to the skid plate, and then the uppers mount to the frame. You can get a little, little view of the Atlas in there. Uh, 1350 drive lines. Uh, so far, I haven't had any issues. Um, solid Axle Industries double spline uh, kit in the rear. For the drive slugs in the front, I have Dynatrack uh, locking hubs. Overall, it's pretty much it. Um, winch in the front, custom bumper down by my buddy Adam. Oh, the most important part. Uh, recently, we added the American Iron off-road ball joints deletes. I absolutely love those, man. Helped my steering, tightened up the steering. Uh, no more shimmying going down the road. And overall, I don't have to worry about them breaking. So I'm extremely happy with those. Um, in the future, Plan on doing full four link in the front on this one, pushing it out to about 112, hopefully. But for right now, and for the rest of this Wheeling season, this is how it's gonna stay. So I appreciate you checking in. Sorry if this is not that great of a video. I'm not a YouTube professional. I'm just a guy that works full time during the week, and I like to go play on the weekend. So, appreciate it. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments.